I just wouldn't have. Well, thought. first they were saying you retired. And then now they're saying you turned the deal down. So it's like, it's just like, nobody points out all of these inconsistencies. It's just Fuck like. Deal. Hey, but hey, but I don't hear enough people saying, hey, if I turn the yeah. deal down, so what? So I don't view myself as someone that has to be held hostage to just this, oh, there's one deal on the table. This is the one deal that we could. Nigga, who is the deal with? What does it include? What is it for? How long is it? Like Royce just said, yo, where we at today, I'm not listening to my mans tell me about a deal and I got lawyers that I pay. Because if that's the case, if, 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 if the that's the case, then I can just go deal. to Dr. Dre. I can just go to Dr. Dre and say, how much would you give us for Slaughterhouse? Probably more, probably more than what was being like, put on the on. table if we just speculating, you know what I mean? If we are at the speculative point, we let's let's speculate. But if we're gonna make our negotiating, then it has to be put on paper, my brother. And nobody in the group has to talk to anybody. That that doesn't require a Zoom call. That's lawyers and management. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah, like no, I said earlier, you know, Joe, 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 Joe doing what he did, you know, had me a deal on the table, a multi-million dollar deal on the table. You know what I mean? And I, you know, I, I received some good by one of his decisions. I can say. Hey, but flip, but flip. That's just the thing right here, right? So did they. Like, it's the same thing. It's just not being painted that way because my belief is this deal is contingent upon a concept. Because I'm not never mad at anybody going to diss Joe Budden. I live for diss records. So let's fucking do it. Let's, you know, it, it, it fuels me, right? That's great. But a diss album, <laughs> well, not diss, but an album of things that are a surprise to me. I don't have friendships where you have yeah, 15 man. songs of things that would be a surprise to me. If it's, a, if it's, if it's an honorable expect, thing where, right? where truths are being expressed and somebody is just speaking their truth, then there shouldn't have been a need for it to be a secret. So many secrets. A lot of secrets. Why do I find out when the fans find out? Like Joel on the live say, yo, you text me the eye emojis. Well, yeah, nigga, where, where I'm from, that means I'm looking for you. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> hey, eyes, say something back. It's a conversation starter. But listen, we know where it's at. It's a lot of miscommunication, and I'm not mad at how anybody got to go about whatever they got to do, but I don't have to, I don't have to support it. I don't have to stand in solidarity with it. Like, right? Like, I got boundaries at 41 years old. Like, I'm not just fucking being vulnerable to, to hurt and pain and, and trauma, especially from people. Listen, I got a line. This, what was the line? Uh, uh, I don't remember the line because that's how long I've been retired. But something to the effect of uh, the, my loved ones are the only people that can hurt me. Like, enemies, I'm not even worried about. It's my friends. It's people that I actually care about that caused the hurt. And that's just been what the last few years of my life has been for me. So it's like, nothing new here. Nothing new here. Nothing new to see. Creative differences that lead to this. Nasty. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I know for a fact. To me. Yo, there's no... There's, wait, hold up, hold up. There's no amount of money. And this was my point. Actually, I'll throw it on you, Flip. How... Everybody got a price. How much money I got to give you for you to go write 15 disparaging None. records about No that? money can make me this way. It's quick, right? It's, that's, a, that's a quick answer. I think the same of me. I think the same of Royce. I don't think niggas could just make go, Royce go write 10 songs about Joe and it'd be a Not in a million Joe. years. That, that's impossible to me. It's impossible. Right? Like, and you're talking to somebody who's, who, like, you lost money. Niggas have lost money. Everybody lost money, right? You're talking to somebody who has walked away from large amounts of money because you were asking for too much of me that I couldn't, that I couldn't deliver. Like, my moral compass is not what's for sale. So the hurt and disappointment that Royce and I speak about is not in music or creativity. It's in the action. Oh shit! We we didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's a premeditated. It's a premeditated. It's a premeditated attack to me. 
Yeah, we rappers. Yo, the night before I heard any of this shit, yo, I'm on the phone with Royce, and I'm telling him, yo, no way this is happening. Because as a rapper, to, to write something down, you got to think it. And to think it, you got to feel it. And when you put it on paper to go in the booth and deliver it, that means you've weighed this out. <laughs> like, it's a deep process if you're a rapper and you understand it. So to do that 15 times or whatever, fuck Glass House, huh? Like, I, I don't understand it. But on the internet, like Roy said earlier, mm -hmm. I ain't do nothing but say I was hurt. All I said was, yo, I'm hurt. Royce and Joe hate Niggas turned that Royce into, and Joe hate he's angry. Every time he's I say, mad, every time I say anything about Joe how Wallen I feel, they accuse me of having a meltdown. Right. So. Yo, all I said was, I have feelings and I hurt. I'm no different than nobody else watching out there. And then, and then because we in this content era, it's a think piece for everybody. Well, why should Joe be mad? He retired. He this. Yo, you, you, you are. Why y'all making, making, making them wait? Why y'all making them wait? Come on, man. Nobody's waiting on me for anything. Yeah, bro. like that's waiting on me for what? Yeah. To do what? Yeah, no, that's. What am so I doing right now? What, what have I released? Yeah, no. Nah, what am I working yeah. on? I would so, love nothing more than to do Slaughterhouse right now. Yeah. That'd be that'd be an easy out for me. And if it's like a situation where niggas is tired of waiting, Same. I'll support that too, man. I never take anybody's side over anybody's side, man. Like if Crook and Joel would have came to me and said that they out, I, I, I would have tried to talk them out of it. You know what I'm saying? But if I couldn't talk them out of it, they would have my 100% support. You know what I'm saying? But the blind side of me is just yo, like, oh, Yo, I, I've literally had Joel and Crook on my show via phone to discuss their new joint project, yo. You can't paint Joe as a hater no type of way. Yo, two weeks before I learned about any of this shit, I was bigging up Joel uh, freestyle, his song shit on my pod. When his project dropped, his publicist called. Yo, can we get him on? Of course you can get him on. Like, you can't paint me as no type of hater. My What, what I'm saying is what I mean. I think this is nasty. And I reserve the right. The end. I'm not telling you not to do it. I would hope you didn't do it, but you did. You did. That's it. It's over. Dale shit will drop and fucking who else drop? I think Dirk dropped one of them. It's some niggas just dropping. It's in the flow of music. The fans will have fun because the fans are saying never has it, care about never, lyrics and songs. And never has really it been an atmosphere where it's some fans on that side and some fans on that side like that atmosphere got and created for them, not me i didn't release no music all i did was just say damn that hurt you know what i mean royce can i yep. ask you a question so what i just did when i tried to uh use joe's uh, uh personality as a scapegoat that's what a lot of people does that's not that's wrong is that like deflecting am i deflecting from the point no, by you're not you, you're not deflecting but it's just like if we when we talk about these things let's get let's get somewhere you know what i mean like let's not even point out the obvious you know what i mean okay joe's a dickhead i think he should be himself i don't think joe should have to change for your i love, I love I think joe's i think joe's job is to rap you know what i'm saying I think that there's Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick. Now, this is one of those things, bro, with Slaughterhouse and everything they got going on. When four people in the group, they all got a love for something. They all got their feelings into something, and they're not communicating directly with each other. We've heard plenty of times say Joe say that he was done rapping. Doesn't mean he's still not tied to the Slaughterhouse name In my personal opinion Even though he done rapping He still has a say so in Slaughterhouse Because he helped build it And 25% of it is, is his At the same time The rest of the group is going to feel like Or two other members are going to feel like Hey bro, well we could go get a bag We could go sell this We got fans waiting on this We want to drop you are doing podcasting and not rapping. Well, why can't we still go do something with Slaughterhouse and get these fans closure and also run up a bag? 
Royce the 5'9", I understand where he is on the hip-hop side, the way this game works where you like, hey, bro, I'm not dropping music without Joe. We all got to do it as a collective, and the business need to be straight and everything. It's been 10 years since this last project dropped, and I can understand, bro, where they are at, where they want to move forward and not wait on Joe, but everybody has to communicate directly. Joe does have a problem, in my personal opinion, bro. He kind of talks down to people and he's real hard to communicate with from what i see even if i was in some of the conversations on his podcast the way he plays with words the way he talks to circles that's just my personal opinion that energy that vibe and other things that got hashed out these are things that make people not want to communicate with you also doesn't mean that they shouldn't because they should i can say this on my personal opinion joel and and uh King Crooked could have sent Joe Button and Royce. Hey, man, we moving forward with the album, whether it's with y'all or not, bro. It's all love, but we want to go ahead and jump on this and move forward. They could have sent that even if Joe was not responding on the text or if Royce the 590 said he wasn't moving without Joe. You could have just gave him a heads up way in, advance, way in advance. We signed the deal, but I do feel what they saying too. This is ours just as much as it's y'all's. It's just real tricky, man. We got more shit coming, more videos. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this. One thousand. Stay on your pivot for shit show.